Harvesting rituals date back to ancient times and involve thanking the gods for a successful crop growing season. For the Abanga of Western Kenya, Nabongo Mumie is widely regarded as the last great ruler of the Wanga Kingdom. Today, the Mwanga identifies more with a modern way of life, and his grandson and current Nabongo Peter Mumie II has the challenge of reinventing the kingdom and keeping it relevant. The king has blessed the harvest, and we will tell you why his blessing is very important. The Wanga are a nation of the Luya people, and the historical kingdom has its place in time even in present-day Kenya. The Nabongo, their king, wielded such great influence over his kingdom. He had his Belitoho, his elders at the court, and he was the epitome of peace and stability, the custodian of their tradition and custom. Agriculture was and still remains the pulse of life for this kingdom, crops such as maize, sorghum and millet most dominant, and in later years vast belts of sugarcane. This year's harvest is complete and some of it ongoing. And here at the Nabongo Cultural Center at Matugu Kakamega, the king must bless it. The harvest ritual is intricate, nuanced, blood shared to signify an important covenant, and the first fruit of the harvest served to the elders. Nabongo Peter Mumia II ascended to the throne in 1974. His time is unlike that of his grandfather, the great Nabongo Mumia, whose reign and influence is still unrivaled. Whatever you saw today being blessed as the new harvest is for traditional foods. Maybe what you do not see is uh, vegetable and uh, whatever. All those are there. So we make sure that uh, our elders here, they go around telling people that they should not forget our traditional foods. After the ritual is complete, the harvest is blessed, traditional brew is served. This has been significant generation after generation. Changes are many, Dorcas. As a traditional leader in a country where the, uh, the constitution does not recognize you as a leader and only recognizes the culture that you, you belong to, it is so challenging in that when you talk about leadership, it's like you are talking to people who do not understand what you're talking about. Today, according to demographic estimates, the Abawanga number close to 800,000 and retain the Nabongo as their cultural monarch. Planting crop remains a way of life, as is, there is a dilemma prevailing, with many farmers and in Munias having turned to sugarcane experienced great losses. Agriculturalists say such a move has led to a looming food shortage with a lot of food coming in from other counties. The blessing is one, as the Nabongo says, encourages farmers to value their heritage and the crops they have always known and relied on. And if the tide is reversed from cash crop to food crop with wiser land tenure, the blessing is worth its weight. Dorcas Wangira, KTN News, Kakao.